Rick. Come on now, watch this. Calling it. Hello guys, welcome to how to set up Wubly, Wulu Kingdoms and EOE tutorials in an easy peasy lemon squeezy tutorial. Go to the official page of AOE tutorials which you can see right here. Here there is the documentation of this app. But for now what we need is to click the releases link from here and then download the latest version which in this case it is 3. 107. I have already downloaded the latest version of EOE tutorial which is right here. Now what we need to do is double click that and confirm. Yes. Click next. You don't have to change this. Yes. Next. Install. That's all. This is a startup screen for EOE tutorials. Now, if you're new to Vubli and a newcomer from HD, what you need to do is click Enable HD to UEC and then proceed with the conversion. But if you are if you already got Vubli account and you already play there, what you can do instead is click Scan first and then access AOV to tools, okay? So for now, we're going to assume that you're a new player. So we're gonna enable HT2UC and click Convert. Pre-install window should pop up just like this one. Keep installably on auto, game directory, keep it on auto. I highly recommend that, but you can still change it, all right? But I recommend keeping it just like that. And you might as well wanna check a couple mods here, okay? Now we can click Ready, and then you can click Stop. So this is towards the end of the installation. Everything seems to be great now. Wubli is installed, as you can see, in the top left. And now this is EOE tools. All right, the first thing that uh, grabs your attention is this update uh, window. This is a very crucial thing to do. We need to update it. Then now we simply click update button. Once EOE tools is updated, we have a couple issues to fix here. Starting with user patch, we can click fix it. And that will automatically download the latest version of user patch and install it as well. So let's watch that. I actually recommend that you you do know so you can set up your things here so I prefer to have precision scrolling okay I have these things so that's important okay I can click install now now it's installed we're gonna quit this and we're gonna quit this as well and there you go we have user patches fixed now Coming to Wolulu Kingdom, guys, if you don't have Age of Empires DLCs on Steam, please do not bother to install this one. So, the DLCs are African Kingdom, uh, Rise of Rajas, and Forgotten Empires. If you don't have these three things, you cannot convert Wolulu Kingdom, sadly, okay? So, anyway, now, after we click fix it for Wulu Kingdoms, we're gonna hit the download button. Okay, so Wulu Kingdoms has downloaded here as you can see and I have already logged into my Steam account which we're going to need for this conversion to happen. Okay, so if Wulu Kingdom didn't start yet, you can click launch and we click yes. Then we click 
skip. We don't have to update anything. Then the Ululu installer should come up like this. Choose your language, choose the hotkeys and click run. Once Wululu Kingdom has finished, what you can do is restart AOE tutorials like this. And we're going to see this window, WK Auto Builder, just click OK. Then confirm yes. Then click OK. That's it guys. Congratulations. Everything is set up here. All you need here is an account. Whatever account you want. And then okay. log in into your account. As you can see, I'm signing in. I'm gonna join this lobby. And there might be some patches or updates. So we're gonna wait for them, we click close. To host your own game on Wubly, what you can do is click quick host. And then click settings and type in whatever title you wish. 1v1 Arabia, then set the game type to 1v1 ladder or team game ladder. I'm gonna just set it to 1v1. Then if you have the DLCs and you have installed Wulolo Kingdoms, just like I showed previously, you can check here Wulolo Kingdoms. Then click OK. And that's pretty much it. Now what you can do is wait for players to join the game and once they're here, you can just click launch and the game will start automatically. To join someone else's room or game, what you can do is simply uh, click one of these green buttons on top here. They are in green, so it, whether it says watch or join, it's the same thing. So for example, I can click join here. And if ever there is a download or update some, something, it's gonna do that. And here you go, you just wait for the host to start the game. To spectate live games or live expert games, what you can do is simply scroll down to the bottom of the screen towards the blue button here, as you can see, watch, watch, watch. So you can watch whatever here, whatever game we want. I can, for instance, click watch here and give this few seconds to start. To import your HD hotkeys, what you can do is go to Library, Games, then right click Age of Empires to HD, go to Properties, then Local Files, then Browse Local Files, and go into Profiles folder. Now you might want to copy this path, copy, then go to this website and choose File then right click and paste the path to the profile folder and click open then choose layer zero then click open then click edit now you can make sure these are your hotkeys here once they are you can simply choose AOC FEHT and click generate HKI file now keep this tool do not close this go to uh, Hotkeys open, then click browse and simply drag this file right here and click open. Then click install and that's 